Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we have LICO 350 intersection of two array two. So given two array, write a function to compute their intersection. So now we have example one, nums one is one, two, two, one, num two, two, two. And then you see uh, this two and two is appear in nums two, two and two. So their intersections will be two and two. So they could be the same number, but uh, different frequency. So now you see the example two have four and nine, and you pick four and nine in here. So we don't have another nine in here to match with the number one. So we, ha we have four and nine total. So in this case, uh, I think we just call along and it's uh, really straightforward because it's an easy question. Now we have the uh, sort this nums one and sort it nums two. Since the n log n, so we have at least the boundary of how fast, how slow is the time complexity. So it's n log n at least. So we have a first pointer pointing at the be beginning of nums i. I mean num uh, one and another pointer pointing to nums two. Second equal to zero, start from zero. And what we have is we need a output array that is, I would just say um, the length of the nums one because at max, we'll have all the numbers in uh, num ones. So we'll make a size of num one and it should fulfill the requirement. And also we have to have a pointer in K that pointing what location of this output link. So for example, in here, we're waiting for the first intersection. If you feel this one already, and then we move the K to second index. So now we have a while loop. What we do is while first less than nums one dot length and second is less than nums two dot length. Oh go. Oh. So in this case, so they they're both not the end of the array, so they can still be into have in, intersections. So you see here we sort them already. So they will, the beginning will have the smallest number. So see if they're the same. So if nums one dot first equal to nums two dot second. So at that case, we'll put output current location is K equal to nums one dot first because they're the same doesn't matter and after this after filling this we need to move first plus plus and second plus plus so this is the first situation and second situation is nums one first bigger than nums two second But at that case, uh, for example, so num one is bigger than num two. So what we can do is, because nothing, so every word in nums one will be bigger than current num two location. So we need to move nums two, which is second forward. If the other way around, then we need to move first forward in order to match and that's the while loop and after the while loop now we have the output it looks like maybe two two zero zero because we initialize the output as a size of four which is the num one link 
and the only field two number in here. So what we can do is another syntax things. So we turn array dot copy of range in here that we will copy the output that from zero to K. K currently right here. Um, I think we need to move K to, yeah, K should, we have to increment K by one so we can go forward. And then after filling this, K will be here. And then we cut this starting from zero to before K this point as the output. And that should be it. Oh, it looks good. Yeah, that's it for this question. Um, pretty straightforward. And I think it's pretty easy, but it asked by a lot of company. And also um, I've been asked, uh, I have asked by this question of two times during the interview from different company. I can't name them, but it's really popular and they have different follow-up that can this question really, really hard. So let's imagine, um, for example, this is a really short number and this could be tons of number in here, could be a trillions number, but here's really short. In order to, for example, uh, this is the maximum number and this, will be like trillions number. We can compare one, one of them uh, one by one. So that N will be really big. Or it could be like another N in here. It's not mismatched. And at that case, you need to look through the entire num one until the almost the end to find that. But now you can use a, uh, divide and conquer that can break this list probably in half, right? If you see this, for the sample, this is really big and this is really small from all the way to the end, the end really big. Now you know this is bigger than this and you can cut it in half and see if it's still bigger, still smaller than this number and keep cutting in half, cutting in half like a binary search problem then it's so much faster. Now it's one of the optimization for this follow-up. So it could be really hard. So at least you need to know this solution. So it's always good. Let me know if you still have question and I will be here answering most of the question. I hope so. Until we see you next time. Bye-bye.